Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a dark side lead using ANA2 plugin. And basically ANA2 um, has a very similar uh, oscillator section to the one that you can find in Zero. So basically uh, if you are a Serum user you can easily use the same techniques that I will show you today. So um, before we start I would like to show you the sequence that I prepared and uh, we will build those uh, dark side lead to match this uh, sequence. So let's listen to it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have a basic sequence. So let's start with the first sound uh, that I will create with the first Anna. And um, I use basic uh, oscillator, saw wave, and uh, my bass line is made on note G. So I will use also the same note here. I will uh, go down to octaves and I will use a bandpass filter. We have uh, different types of filter filters here, but I will use the basic uh, bandpass, which sounds like this. And uh, I will increase the resonance a little bit. Okay, so I can also activate the delay. And now I will uh, choose some kind of a wavetable. And we have uh, a few wavetables here. So I will just move and choose the one that is kind of metallic. This one's pretty okay, but let's go forward. This one is actually good. So now when I'm moving the position of filter, I can already hear that it will be uh, very nice for those uh, dark side tex textures. So. Okay, the first um, part will be simple. I will create something like this. Okay, let's listen to it with just the percussion. Okay, I like this rhythm, so I will leave it as it is, but I will set some kind of LFO for the master frequency filter. And I will set this uh, LFO right here, as I said, for the master frequency. The rate, just maybe slow it down. So I have also increased the volume of the sound. Now let's check it how it sounds with the kick and bass line. Okay, I think it's uh, just fine. So now I will move on to the second uh, sound, 
but I will uh, create it in the same pattern uh, because I want to see where I can put uh, my second sound and this sound will be kind of uh, gated you can also use some kind of gators like um, gatekeeper from infected mushroom or there are many different types of gators but I will create my own gate in a piano roll Okay, so I will create something like this. And basically you can create um, any kind of gate. It's up to you. Okay, so I created something like this. So what I've done is actually I left the space in the second sound uh, for the first sound. So they just don't hit together. And uh, now I will also uh, use some different wavetable here. I'm looking at the graph at the waveform just to see if the wavetable is harsh enough. Okay, I will also activate the bandpass filter in this sound. Increase the volume and the same thing, I will set the LFO for the master filter frequency. And the delay. but I will search for a different wavetable. This one is pretty okay, so let's just check it how it sounds with uh, the whole sequence. I will move it now to the separate pattern. Okay, I will drop it right here in the playlist, and now I can check it. Uh, I can check the whole sequence. there are a number of modulations that you can use here you can make automations you can set LFOs for different parameters so basically you can create a very um, high spectrum very wide spectrum of, of, of textures here just playing around with one wavetable so uh, it's it's up to you and it's up to your imagination what you're going to get out of this sound so basically uh, that was it that was a very simple way how to create this kind of dark side, metallic and harsh lead. Very good for um, faster types of psychedelic trance music. Let's listen to this sequence again and uh, check if everything sounds good.
Okay, so that was it. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Have a good day. Peace.